Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13-2, no, 12-10-2. Does 12-2 doesn't exist and 13-2 I was going to play, but then Final Fantasy 13 decided to be a bitch about copyright strikes. Um, let me know if you really want to see 13-2 and I'll consider it is it is the dash 2 of the final of that series and that it has you know a much girlier character than the previous games. Well, let's let's see what happens if we fight this new friend. You shouldn't be too difficult to handle. Oh, we oversold. I wonder what that'll do for us. Well, let's actually dodged. I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's scan him. He cured himself. He's behaving rather oddly, I must say, uh, because I think I'm used to the way this thing fights when it's not oversold. Pyroplexy? That... wow, that hurt bad. And that hurt bad, too. Yeah, so I was kind of expecting that, but honestly what I was expecting was to get wiped out by it uh, using physical attacks. But I guess when you're fighting it oversold, the strategy has to be a little different. Huh. Well, at some point we have to encounter one of those, those things, because... Um, we have to... Um, we have to uh, encounter one oversold, and... Um, but generally your best thing to do is just to go by when it's not charging. That works. That being said, I kind of want to see if we can defeat one. Um, Yuna was wiped out in a single hit, which I thought if anybody was going to be able to survive, it was going to be Yuna. Um, and normally I would beat these guys uh, by using Berserkers. Did Yuna survive, uh, did Yuna not take damage from that thing's magical attack, or did she take damage and just, um, tank it and then the physical attack killed her? So we can double our max HP. It's just missing, and we did get a chance to counter. got a lot of hit points though if I recall correctly and this is probably gonna kill everyone oh no it didn't quite well if we can finish it off before it does that again we'll be okay but it's curing itself don't think you can dispel that See if she can uh, survive and bring them back. Let me reach into my ass crack for a phoenix down. So she does get an auto counter, which is pretty important against this guy. Oh, it's going to kill them both immediately again. Yuna's got a much better survivability based entirely on the fact that she's got this uh, adamantite item equipped. And um, Berserkers, with all their skills learned, have auto... Uh, have auto-regen, which means that if you survive uh, and it doesn't do that same attack that did all the damage to you again right away, you do gradually come back. But don't call it a comeback, I've been here for years. So 
So this might work. It's going to cost a lot of Phoenix Downs. But yeah, the thing is, it, it has really deadly physicals, but the Berserkers have really high evade. I think I'm also, with the evade and the attack thing, I, every time I manage to evade, I get in a hit. But if you try to do this with, like, mages, mages have really low evade, and, and this thing has a an attack called Mage Hater that it uses if you put a, any kind of magic on it. don't think there's any point in uh, using like a dispel item on it either because I'm pretty sure that's an auto dispel status that it has and it'll just yeah it'll just continue to have that status regardless of what I do but we're gonna defeat this one and then we're not gonna fight another one again until it becomes a random encounter really late in the dungeon because um, the rewards we're going to get for defeating this guy aren't that great. I guess in theory I should try to steal from it. I might check a fact and see what you get for stealing from an oversold one. And then kick myself for not doing it later, but... I mean, whoever we, whoever we make a thief is just going to die constantly before it can get off a steal. I suppose it's just possible. I I don't there's no reason not to try. Couldn't steal anything. Damn it. Well thieves have pretty good evade and nobody's surviving a hit from that pyro or whatever attack. Turbo ether times two, so totally not worth it. Can I switch Pain back before she dies? No. So the biggest disadvantage for the Thief is not going to be able to counterattack this thing while um, avoiding attacks, and also the Thief is not going to um, have Regen going. Which is kind of useful. I mean, basically, other than Pyroplex, you were avoiding all damage. And I'm able to tank Pyroplexy with Yuna only because of this item I got by playing off-screening sc off uh, the creature creator stuff that's part of the International Edition. Normally I would have to to beat an oversold version of this guy, you'd have to be able to, you'd really have to be set up to like, I don't know, I can't, I'm not making sense here. Um, yeah, he just keeps fucking killing us with that before I can... Uh, He's using it a lot more often now at the end. I think it might be a change in pattern after he gets a certain amount of damage taken. Wish he would go back to regular old attacks. That strength down thing isn't really good for us either, of course. He's going for it again! It might kill Yuna if I'm not careful. At this, I want to win now. I mean, we we sunk too much time into fighting it for it to be a failure. I'd be annoyed now if we lost. Wow, it really, it's, uh, X-Potions, I can get more of those, where the hell's X-Potion? Oh, I didn't get to auto-counter there. I'm starting to wonder if it's worth, um... Oh, she's at 999. There's no point. That Berserk is a... I shouldn't have used the Howl. It's a waste of the turn. She's got 9,999 hit points. Because she already used it earlier on. 
But now I'm kind of like, I don't want to bother to bring anybody back, because it keeps just killing them immediately. Or like, the next time it uses that Pyroplexy, I'll try to immediately bring guys back. This is taking forever. I don't even know how many hit points it has. I know it's not worth stealing from. Well, we seem to be stalemated. I don't think it's going to be able to defeat Yuna. And I don't think Yuna's going to be able to bring the other Gullwings back and make them useful. <laughs> Although it hasn't gone for Pyroplexy in a while. Maybe it's decided it's not working. That's its stance when it's about to cure itself. Part of me wants to cast... Uh... Oh, now it's going for Pyroplexy. Okay. Oh, doing it again. Two in a row. That would have been pretty deadly if I didn't have Yuna at like 9,000 freaking hit points and with uh, auto shell thanks to her accessories. Let's scan this asshole anyway. Maybe use a little bad, bad breath on it. It's it. You can't take down its physical attack because that's pretty much what it counts on for uh, harming you. Harming you in um, wow, it's only halfway defeated too. That's pretty much how it kills you uh, when it's not uh, oversold. Carries a grudge against staff wielding opponents. It attacks them with great persistence, but its reasons for doing so are unclear. Well, maybe if we're really lucky, we can get off. Bad breath. Oh, now it's going for that again. Well, I used bad breath on it. I don't know if it did any good. It appears that uh, it's more than... Ah, damn it. See, I, I thought I, I got off on a, uh, a dodge with a blue mage, and for a minute I thought blue mages would actually be able to do something against it. Heaven's Cataract might be a good idea against this guy, just to lower defense. Oh, it's going for Pyro or whatever, so they're they're both about to die. Pyroplexy. New for Nintendo. We are gonna go through about fifty Phoenix Downs here, but we should be able to take it out. It's going for it again. I think any any time it knows that I'm about to make some progress of some kind. Well, you know what? Instincts. What are my instinct attacks? I could uh, accuracy and evasion. I don't know. If slow is one of the ones that was immune to. couldn't hurt to use these attacks unless it decreases Yuna's evade. And it's guards against slow. But somehow she got a, a bonus attack in anyway. Flick poison? Was it immune to I think it's immune to poison. Uh, see if I can nullify its protect. I doubt I can.
Oh, it's going for two of those in a row. I better get another uh, X potion going, because uh, if it does another one, I could actually be in trouble. You reach into my uh, goofy costume here. Damn, it's going for it again. Heavily damage is the feed. Yeah, protect is still there, so um, I guess I can reduce accuracy and evasion. Then maybe bring some people back as a class other than berserkers. But yeah, this is, uh, you are not meant to be able to defeat this guy the first time you encounter him. So I'm bringing down his accuracy as much as possible in the hopes that, uh, that Pyroplexy is going to be able to kill anybody dead except for you. Uh, but at least, that'll be the only thing that's capable of killing guys if I bring them back now. And there's a slim chance that I sh could possibly be able to... Um, see, she can evade now. Slim chance I should be able to... Uh, I can't even think what I was going to say. Yep, Pyroplexy's going to... I wish I could cancel Yuna's turn because she's about to bring someone back just so they can die. It's been doing that twice in a row a couple of times, so I decided not to immediately revive Pain, but... I kind of wish I was using the uh, the garment grid that lets you have Bushido skills, because I could do some stuff to make up for the strength down it's been doing on you, know. But we're definitely doing more damage per attack now. Not to mention the hasting unit would be really handy. I suppose I could use a chocobo feather. There's got to be a way to get those in-game. I don't remember what it is, though. Chocobo feather... How many of those have I got? 18. Eh, yeah, I'll use one on her. Hopefully it'll last long enough to be worthwhile. Because I think at this point, um, the strategy is just don't waste time bringing anyone back. Just keep pounding on it. Always pounding Elder Drakes. Because, yeah, it's going for Pyro Plexi, which would have killed anyone I brought back anyway. I don't know if I would have been able to do this without the Adamantite on Yuna. I think I'd have to have higher level characters to be able to hang with this thing uh, otherwise, but I'm going to be tempted to go, well, I'll probably save the game even though we wasted a ton of items here, but um, I'll be tempted to go back and see if we could have uh, handled this thing if it wasn't oversold. Um, just using um, Berserkers, like at level six, 60 something, but we're using Berserkers with with evade and attack. I'd just be curious if that would have worked. I'm also curious how long this chocobo feather will keep the haste status applied, because if it doesn't last for the whole battle, I'll be a little annoyed. This strength down thing's getting a little old, too. And I was just... When I saw it doing that, I was just thinking... I don't think its strength is going down, by the way. I was just thinking I should revive Pain for another round of, uh... Yeah, and the haste is worn off the unit, so... Crap. Well, there is an attack which says, uh... Heavily damage one enemy often fails. It doesn't... Always fail, it just... The damage is kind of your normal damage times some multiplier. We'll try this out. It, it, I had this working. Yeah, I had this working a bit in my off-screening. 
You can usually get it a few times in a row before the game decides you're abusing it. It stops working. But she, she's got the Ragnarok accessories. There's no point in not using all of my most MP costly skills. Should have been using this a while ago now that I think about it. Yeah, so there's a bunch of these things down in the uh, Bevel Underground, and fighting them really isn't that much fun. I think I was pretty excited the very first time I ever defeated one, but once you've proven to yourself you can do it, there's not much point coming back. I've definitely beaten these things before without having the Adamantite item. And the accessory you get for beating the boss of this whole place is, I think, even better than Adamantite. Uh, it improves your attack and stuff, too. But, um... It's one of those things where if you prove that you're so good you don't need the super-powered items, they give you super-powered items that you've already proven you don't really need. Yeah. This whole video is going to be fighting this guy, isn't it? If he has some kind of, like, on his dying turn, he casts Ultima bullshit. I'm gonna be pissed. But he doesn't. So I'm not pissed. And what do we get for that? Like 1800 experience, 1800 gil. We got a couple of mega potions. We stole two turbo ethers. Really not worth it. Apparently, there's another one uh, down here. Anyway. I wonder if you use. Okay. She does use MPs when she's in uh, this screen. Despite having the zero MP cost status item, but... So it's actually over here? A way out. Yeah, we'll go back to the surface. But there's another one on this, this very level. So that's a thing. So yeah, Chocobo Feathers, tons of Phoenix Downs wasted, uh... And uh, at the end of the day, it's really not worth the effort that you put into defeating that guy. But we'll dig a little deeper. Maybe maybe we'll try to show off um, fighting one. Um, like, would I be able to defeat one when it's not oversold without it taking forever and involving all that? By using the old evade trick. just saved, so it's a good time to find out. Yeah, when you're using... these types of guys, it's a lot... They have good evasion, so they're pretty much able to handle it. And of course we knocked it, um... Yeah, that's the same stuff, you s Master Thief steals the same stuff as you would if, um... It wasn't Oversold. Oversold gives it that pyro whatever attack. Now I think if you use, um magic on it, it uh, it responds with something similar to that attack. But it can't just throw it out there at you whenever it feels like it. Um, when you're fighting it in its normal mode. I thought we just won for, for like the weird... Being that it attacks with alarming speed despite its otherwise lethargic move. When attack with magic, it retaliates with flame tongue. It must not like losing. So I think it does the same thing, but it's instead of being called Flame Tongue, the Pyro, whatever, uh, was non-elemental because Riku, who had an item that turns all elemental damage into hit points, was actually um, damaged by it, as opposed to um, getting hit points from it. So actually, using uh, physical against it is just kind of a bad idea. Um, being said, it's not a particularly good idea for Yuna to uh, start uh, using magic on it. 
and I feel like she could get some experience with her other dress spheres. I don't even know if they need to be Berserkers. Now, we, we've knocked its accuracy down as low as it'll go. So we might be safe to play some other character uh, class. Let's try and see what happens. Worst thing that's going to happen is uh, I find out that that was a horrible mistake. Looks like we are capable of evading, uh, but only because we knocked its accuracy all the way down. Otherwise, this probably wouldn't be working uh, well at all. So it makes a difference. If you know you're going to fight one of these and you go into battle with a party full of berserkers, you can use their skills to knock out down its accuracy and handle this thing fairly readily. Not to mention that the sparkler and fireworks seem to... I don't know how the damage for them is figured, but it doesn't seem to be a physical attack affected by protect. Or I guess it is, or that protect and like animation wouldn't show up, but it doesn't seem to really be all that dependent on how much... Um, damage the enemy is, or how much defense the enemy has. It's like great in, in the like creature uh, arena off screening. It's a, I haven't used it for this yet, but it's probably a really useful thing to use against like adamantoids as a crazy guy physical defense. So we're just going to keep doing this for a while, and I guess we'll just have a video where we defeated an oversold version of this guy and a uh, regular version. And that'll pretty much be the video. With occasional breaks for ethers to be passed around. But yeah, you can see... Uh, even when it's not oversold, it has a lot of hit points. So you kind of need to you need to come up with a way to to, to be safe from its attacks. You can't just uh, I'm going to do so much damage so fast I'm going to outlast this. Like now, you pretty much got to find a way to uh, to nullify its offense because it does a lot of damage and you're going to be fighting it for a while. And when you first see them, uh, it is. Generally, the wisest and best is to fix your attention to the good and the beautiful and to avoid combat with this guy. Yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of make, trying to make sure that Riku gets off a sparkler before Payne's turn comes so that there's something for her to do. Dismissal. Halt the pending action of one enemy. Well, I didn't get a chance to try it, but... We're now back to our normal lineup. And we got a single Mega Potion out of that. Not really worth it. it I mean, it just takes so freaking long. So though, we save our game and we move on. So yeah, I think we'll do at least one more video down here. Uh, see if now that we uh, know we can handle the Elder Drakes but that it's not worth the time and it's better to avoid them, maybe we can actually make our way to the next boss uh, before this uh, next video is over. I guess we'll find out, folks. I'm SiriusJG. I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you join me next time for more Final Fantasy X-2. Bye-bye.